Hey guys, this is Drew with the Gooster Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about five tips that we have and that we use kind of on a daily basis to make sure our business is on an upward trajectory and that people are being attended to and that we're, we're also working on ourselves at the same time. But we hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get it started. Our goal for this channel is not only that you have a great numismatic experience with taking a look at shows, taking a look at coins, and understanding the grading process, but also for us to give our personal opinion, also what we believe are great tips for you in terms of if you're aspiring to be a coin dealer, and a lot of these do apply to your life as well. Um, over the past two years, we've really been trying to hone in our skills, get better at planning and spending our time, but also wanting to become better people because the better we are, um, the stronger we are, the more things that we think about and how to improve, uh, the better the business will be. And a lot of these things aren't really discussed, um, you know, on Instagram and other places. And so giving this our opinion, uh, we hope it helps you, but let's, let's start talking about some tips that would benefit you and your walk in numismatics. For tip number one, uh, what I would recommend is buy the most beautiful coin that you can with the budget that you have. So, what does that really mean? You know, you guys see $50,000, $100,000, $10,000 dollar coins that one day you hope to be able to sell, hope to be able to acquire, maybe for a client or for your showcase. But in all reality, that's not something that will happen right off the bat. You have growing pains of a coin business. And the way that normally works is you start to acquire an eye, start to acquire things um, like, you know, just say like you're acquiring a common date Morgan or you're acquiring um, a common date Mercury Dime. Uh, it really starts small, starts fundamental. Are you buying coins with high eye appeal? Are you buying coins that are nice for the grade? All those really are uh, molded together and start to form a thought process in your mind of what you should buy and how much you should spend on it. So we've talked about the three uh, different types of framework uh, of a coin. There's beautifully toned coins, ugly toned coins, and blast white coins. All of those are something that you should start to understand, pick up on, and uh, a good thing to understand is that nobody's perfect off the bat. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars on coins that I thought were pretty at the time, but I realized that they were ugly over time. And the reason how I figured that out is because I went out of the marketplace and I said, I have these coins for sale. They're available. Do you want them? And people said, no, they're just not exciting. They don't make me happy. Um, they're just something that I wouldn't really want in my collection. If I had to spend the extra money, I would on a nice example. So understand that sometimes when you're buying a coin, find the nicest example of it. No matter what price range it is, no matter uh, how much money you're going to spend on it. Like, for example, when we bought those Franklins or we bought those Kennedys or those Mercury Dimes for Fernando. All those coins are $20, $30, $40 coins max. But all of them really had some nice eye appeal, really were pretty interesting, and have some history. And yes, they're a little bit more common. But like I said, it all depends on where you are as a coin dealer, who you can sell to, and a lot of that has to do with growing pains. We're trying to move into coins one day. That would be $5,000, $10,000. 25,000 but the way that we're going to get there is when we start to fo fix our eyes and focus on something that really brings customers um, great joy is it CAC approved does it have nice originality is it beautifully toned is it beautifully blast white has it been over dipped has it not been dipped all these things are super important what holder is it in things over time like that are going to be very important for you and so my tip, which is tip number one, is buy a beautiful coin. Tip number two. What I would say is uh, if you're going to sell a coin, set a price for it. Don't use someone's offer as a weapon. And what does that really mean? So 
I messaged a guy on Instagram a few days ago asking about something and he had like a price tag on it or something and so I said you know is it would you take $25 less he said uh, no I don't know if I really even want to sell it at the price I wrote on the sticker and I'm like okay and so then he wrote me later that night saying that he got an offer from somebody else stating that they they have an that someone's offering me a certain price but if you can top that you can buy the coin and the problem with that and um, the issue that I've run into with people is that they will use your offer to go and negotiate with somebody else and they will do that to five six seven people before they can sell the coin and you know what they're getting the highest amount of money for what they have right that's not a bad thing for them but the true bad thing for them really is that they're hurting six or seven people's opinions of them in the process of selling the coin to the highest bidder so a good tip for you guys is that if you have a coin study it very well and then come out with a price that's accurate do not use somebody else's offer that they've given you as a weapon to sell the coin to the highest bidder because you're going to hurt a lot of people that want to do business with you all right tip number three is basically making a platform that your clients and you can communicate on like i was talking about in many other videos when you're trying to communicate who you are as a person but also what you offer as a coin dealer it's really important that you have a central place where people can check out who you are what your inventory is and what prices you have on stuff we, so we have about 400 coins in our inventory and so when someone comes to me and asks what i have having giving them a place where they can reach me giving them a place where they can buy inventory um, really does <laughs> separate you from the rest of the coin dealers out there and why is that it's because not only do you have a presence at a show because you're making an online platform but you also have presence online so if you're in an interview or if you're in on instagram on facebook doing stuff that all should really go back to what you have available on your website and that will distinguish you and give you more of a branding of yourself and your coin shop for other people to take a look at um, ever since we started our, our kind of coin shop online, it's been really successful and been really great because I no longer have to try to drum up a few coins for somebody. They really, literally can just look it up and they can ask me what questions I have and I can get back to finding great coins for other people and for them. And so uh, that's another great tip for you guys to understand. <music> Okay, so tip number four. Tip number four is save yourself and then save your business. And that has to do with your choices, but also has to do with what you do uh, when you're not working on coins. Are you going to the gym? Are you mildly eating right? Um, what are you spending your time doing? All these things are really important. And, um, you know, a few, about, I think two or three months ago, we were on our way to a grapevine and I just felt really down and I just wasn't feeling good. And the reason why is because I wasn't taking care of myself in terms of going to the gym every day, doing the best that I can that way. And I was also eating a lot of crap, drinking stuff that I shouldn't drink. And that ultimately will lead, uh, led me to just not having a good perspective. And I think when uh, you know, you're wanting to take it to the next level and doing whatever you wanna do, focus on getting yourself ready in terms of exercising and feeling good in your own body. And also you know, spend time thinking about things that will help you um, either from a business standpoint or things that will just help you motivate your mind and keep you inspired. Um, and sometimes you have to take a break as well. So it's just, a, uh, this tip's more of a balance tip for you um, and how we really are getting through our days now and how we plan to have a consistent basis throughout the future. But yeah, I think this tip is one of the most important because it's something that I've been trying to work on most of my life. Um, you know, I haven't been the, the thinnest person, but um, one of my big goals this year really is to be in the right headspace to be able to move this company and also be able to sell great coins. And, and a big part of that is just making sure that you go to the gym 
and doing what you're supposed to do as an adult. And uh, it, I think that's a great tip. My fifth and final tip for this video is be thankful. And being thankful can happen in many ways. You can call someone, you can text someone, you can write them a thank you note. The best time our business was ever doing was when we were writing thank you notes and we were keeping up with people. When they had a question, when they needed some approval on something, when they needed our help, uh, when they needed someone to pick them up and say, you know, we're so thankful that you're here and that you're willing to support us and how can we support you? All those things are very important when you're starting a business because you want a group of people around you that are supporting you and you're supporting them. And that's really how great businesses are built. But in the coin business, that's also how people get to know other, other people. You buy coins from people, you sell coins to people. And that also starts either at a show with a coin dealer or online with maybe a customer that you might have that you've acquired through YouTube or Instagram. Um, we've, I've spoken on the phone to Richard. Richard's a great guy. Uh, we speak about the Lord. Um, I speak to other people about how the show's going. I talked to Trent about what coins you think would be great to buy. Uh, we even, you know, look at individual pieces. Are those worth buying? Having those connections, being thankful for those connections, be willing to sh talk to people, be willing to spend money on them um, to just make sure that they feel welcome, they feel important is really what you need to do if you want to be a great coin dealer. Um, we were at the last show and there's nothing to boast, right? But we have a group of people that literally pour out their heart, give everything that they have every show, every time we see them. They're honest, they're great people, Blake and Christy. And so we said, hey, can we buy you lunch today? Hey, are you thirsty? Um, those things are what make great relationships, but also shows people that you're thankful that they're there and that they're there in the first place. Um, and so what I would say is start to cultivate relationships and start to be rooted in thankfulness of, of why, you know, be thankful for who they are, be thankful for uh, the opportunities God's given you. And a lot of that starts with being thank thanking people around you. And so, uh, you know, offer uh, offer help to anybody that needs help as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this fifth tip. Um, and we're going to ship out some coins today, and you'll see a few thank you cards as well. A quick example of that really would be just, you know, spending some time. I wrote a card out for Jason, for Arnie, and for Doug, just to tell them how important they are. You don't have to do this every single order, but when you do, it just gives that personal touch and it just tells them that you're giving your personal time sometimes just to make sure that they feel special, make sure that they feel important, especially in the hobby. And so I hope this tip helps you guys. We want to give you guys a special thanks just for watching the full video, listening to the tips that we have, and uh, you know, just con the constant support means a lot to us. We've been trying to do something new in the coin space, offer a few videos that you guys would enjoy. If you guys want to check out our channel, please subscribe. Uh, please like this video if you want to see more like this. And like I said, comment your thoughts down below. What do you think about the tips that I've given? Is there anything that you can add on to it? I know I spoke very vaguely about a lot of them, but uh, I want to make something that's more interesting as days progress. But thank you guys again, and we'll see you in the next video.